What is going on, Creative Beast enthusiasts? Welcome back to another episode of Creative Beast Spotlights. I'm Chris Chaotic. And I'm Spino Dude, and today we're diving deep into one of the most iconic dromaeosaurs ever discovered, Utah Raptor Ostromaci. It's big, it's brutal, and it is brought to life by us, Creative Beast Studio. If you happen to have one of our Utah Raptor figures, grab it, because we're heading into the early Cretaceous where this feathered terror once roamed. The story of the Utah Raptor begins in the rugged red rocks of Utah. In 1991, paleontologist Jim Kirkland discovered a partial skeleton in the Cedar Mountain Formation. And by 1993, it was officially named Utah Raptor Ostromycee, a nod to John Ostrom, who revolutionized our understanding of raptors everywhere. And Chris Mays, who helped fund the entire discovery. Utah Raptor was found right before Jurassic Park premiered, and while the movie made Velociraptor famous, in reality, real Velociraptors were turkey-sized, and the movie Raptors were based off of Deinonychus. But Utah Raptor? This thing was huge, the size of a grizzly bear, dwarfing even the movie monster Raptors. The Utah Raptor was an absolute beast. Here in the 118 scale, you can see how massive it would be. It was 20 feet long from snout to tip of the tail and about five to six foot tall at the top of the hip. That's massive. I'm six foot four, so that'd be about right here on me. Could you imagine a raptor standing that tall to you at the hip? Terrifying. And this prehistoric beast weighed around a thousand pounds. That's 4,000 quarter pound cheeseburgers. That makes the Utah Raptor three times bigger than the Denoticus and about 10 times bigger than a Velociraptor. This figure nails that bulk, with broad limbs, a thick tail, and of course, that signature sickle claw. Over nine inches long in life, it was used to slash into prey with devastating power, covered by a razor-sharp keratin sheath. This beast also had a long snout, as you can see here, with tons of serrated teeth in its mouth, and a super sturdy body with a lot of muscle mass built for power, not just speed like its relatives. Yes, Utah Raptor had feathers. Even at this massive size, it belonged to a lineage evolving towards birds, the Dromaeosaurids. While we don't have direct feather fossil evidence from Utah Raptor itself, its very close relatives, like Microraptor and Velociraptor, definitely had them. Creative Beast Studio did their research. This model features detailed plumage across the arms, tail, and back, accurately reflecting our current scientific understanding. Even the wings are properly attached to the second finger on each hand. The coloration is even inspired by the Harpy Eagle, a modern-day raptor. And not all feathered dinosaurs were small. Some were hulking apex predators, feathers and all. The largest known feathered dinosaur with preserved feathers was Utyrannus, a Proceratosaurid tyrannosauroid even larger than Utah Raptor itself. Could you imagine a pack of Utah Raptors hunting together, eyes locked in on a herd of iguanodonts? Speed, strategy, and claws made them devastating hunters. There's fossil evidence suggesting group behavior. Multiple Utah Raptors of varying ages were found together with a potential prey animal. It's debated whether it was a pack or a predator trap, but the idea of coordinated hunting is hard to ignore. Some modern-day animals work together to bring down larger prey, while not necessarily forming a larger social dynamic. Regardless, seeing these massive predators hunt would be a sight to behold. This figure allows you to capture all those moments. The crouch, the bounce. It's a scene frozen in time for you all to enjoy. 
Utah Raptor lived about 125 million years ago in a warm, semi-arid environment with dense vegetation, rivers, and floodplains. This was the Cedar Mountain Formation, one of the richest fossil beds in all North America. Utah Raptor shared its world with early hadrosaurs, other theropods, and even armored herbivores like Gastonia. With its larger size and bulkier build, it may have been one of the only dromaeosaurids to willingly take on an armored ankylosaurid. It was a top predator in a thriving competitive ecosystem. Utah Raptor isn't just a big raptor, it's a turning point in our understanding of dinosaur evolution. It reminds us that predators could both be powerful and bird-like, and proves once again that the fossil record still has secrets to share. Who knows if a bigger raptor is out there waiting to be discovered? It's easy to see why this figure is one of my all-time favorites, and it does justice to this prehistoric legend. And thank all of y'all for joining us, and if y'all like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget y'all, hit that bell so you get notifications of all of our new videos that come out. Drop a comment down below, what creature should we feature next? And if you've got your own Utah Raptor, tag Creative Beast Studio on our socials and show us. This is Beast Spotlights, where the past roars to life. And don't forget y'all, for the prehistoric to the fantastic Creative Beast Studio!